Hey guys, I am back to film. I'm going to call this the September part one book haul because, yeah, it's like the end of August and I have so many more books, but I just got up like a August book haul and I just named it the August book haul. So now they're going into September, but so many books <laughs> and there's more coming. So we're just going to be like smart this time and call this part one. And then we'll actually film something at like the end of September that's going to be part two. Because I am continuing to have a problem. Yeah. We'll just, we'll just start. Okay, so first one is The Lovely and the Lost. Um, this one sounded interesting. I saw this at the bookstore and then I ended up getting it off of Amazon. It actually came like like the cover came completely ripped up so I had to return it and let me tell you the returning through Kohl's is like in so easy if you have a Kohl's near you because they were like how do you want to return it and they were like would you like to return to a Kohl's store and I'm like that's an option Amazon so I tried it and you just basically walk up to customer service with your like phone and your like QR code and you're like here is it and here's the phone and they're like thanks and then they scan it and like take it away and give you a receipt and like a 15% off coupon or something from Kohl's and yeah, we'll send you along your merry way. So yeah, pretty good. Um, so yeah, this one is how long before anyone bothered to look for her? I knew that question wasn't about Bella. Bella had been gone for less than 48 hours and park rangers, law enforcement, and dozens of volunteers were already combing the woods for her. By the time anyone had come looking for me, I'd been on my own for weeks. Forest, dirt, water, blood, threat. My grip on Shakia's lead tightened as the images flashed through my head. I wanted to let go of the lead to cut the animal free. I needed to run. So it sounds really interesting. And yeah, I had to pick that up. Uh, the next one I got was the islands of, you were not going to know how to pronounce this. Um, I'm going to be buddy reading this one with Shay from Shay Geeks Out because it is on her TBR and that's kind of why I bought it but um, it sounded cute it's like um, Aline comes from a line of magic workers and her own gift should have been even greater but she failed her initiation so completely that she doubts she'll ever become as magical as her aunt the most powerful magical worker, but when the High King sends her and her aunt on a secret and suspicious quest across the island, she begins to wonder if she's, she'll only be in the way. So it sounds really interesting, and I figured I would give that one a shot, and I think Buffy wants out, so we are going to let Buffy out. Okay, let's try and get the hardback ones out of the way, maybe? Uh, maybe. Okay. The next one I got is The Enchantment of Ravens. I got it because she wrote a book we just read. It was a buddy read. And now I am forgetting what the book was called. So yes, this is the first book that this woman wrote. <sighs> Sorcery of thorns is that it I'm sorry Shay I'm forgetting books um, but yes yeah, so she's the author that wrote that one and I figured I would snag her first book because I think this was done before that one was done which is why they wouldn't talk about that one on this book but it looks pretty so I snagged that um, the next one I got the was from a lot of these were snagged from either Books a Million or Barnes and Nobles when I was out and I also snagged a lot of them from Target because every time I went to Target to like go buy groceries or something I was like let's go check the book section cuz yeah so I got the murmurings it says the voices in her head are not her own it sounds really interesting cuz I like my paranormal thrillery stuff Everyone thinks Sophie's sister Nell went crazy. After all, she heard strange voices that drove her to commit suicide. But Sophie doesn't believe that Nell would take her own life, and she's convinced that Nell's doctor is no more than he's letting on. As Sophie starts to piece together Nell's last day, every 
lead ends in a web of lies. And the deeper Sophie di digs, the more dangerous she's in because now she's hearing the same haunting whispers. Yeah. And look at that cover. Oof. Sounds all good. So twisted. So the next one I got was Ash Princess. I kept checking this one out. Um, every time I went into Target, they had it there. So, in a land without a queen, the princess must rise. It sounds really interesting. I know that the sequel is out. The only thing now is that if I want to get the sequel to match this one in paperback, I have to wait for the sequel to come into paperback, because right now the sequel is only out in hardback. But it sounded interesting, so I snagged that one. Um, the next one I got was The Woman in Cabin 10. I did get one other book from Ruth Ware, but I haven't read it yet, but I know she's like quintessential thriller. So since I really enjoyed the one thriller that I did read, I ended up snagging this one because this is like one of her, one of our better known ones, I believe. I could be wrong, but they kept toting it at Target all the time, so I just assumed. Um, so the next one I got is The Archivist. This one just, it's Victoria Swab. I, it's funny because I haven't actually read any of her books when she writes as V, V. E. Schwab, and I'm not sure if there's like a reason why is like Victoria like the younger books that she writes and V. E. Schwab the older books that she writes. I'm not really sure, but I did read one other book from her as Victoria, and that was um, a ghost one, which I really enjoyed. This one sounds interesting. Um, everybody has a story to tell, a life scene in pictures that only librarians can read. The dead are called hist histories, and the vast realm in which they rest is the archive. So, yeah. More paranormal dead people. Yay! Um, the next one that I got was The First Time She Drowned. Um, this one was recommended by books and Lala, so I snagged it. Um, it's been two and a half years since Cassie O'Malley's mother dumped her in a mental institute against her will. Now at 18, Cassie's finally able to reclaim her life and enter the world in college on her own terms. Um, but it's a poor consultation for a lifetime of psychological damage. Now swimming in family memory, family memories and trying to adapt to her new surrounding, Cassie says how difficult it is to cut the tether of a turbulent past. And when the unhealthy mother-daughter relationship that defines Cassie's childhood and adolescence threatens to pull her under, Cassie must decide which version of history is real, and can she let what happened resurface without drowning in it. So it just sounds really good. Psychologically fun. Yeah. Just like the psychological stuff, what can I say? And the last, well, there's one other, but the last three I ended up getting at Books A Million this week, so they are the newest ones. So I got um, The Alchemist. This one sounded really interesting. I kept seeing it whenever I went into the bookstores. It sounds like it's like a really, it's a longer series because it looks like there's like six books at least for it right now. Uh, Nicholas is the greatest alchemist to ever live. The record showed that he died in 1418, but what if he's actually been making the elixir of life for centuries? The secrets to eternal life are hidden within a book he protects, the book of Abraham the Mage is the most powerful book that has ever existed, and in the wrong hands it will destroy the world. And that's exactly what Dr. Joe, no, Dr. John D. plans to do when he steals it. There's only one hope. If the prophecy is true, Sophie and Josh Newman have the power to save everyone. Now they just have to learn how to use it. So it sounds interesting. I'm, I think, I'm assuming this is the first book. It looks like it's the first book. I hope I'm not wrong, but I ended up snagging that. <clears throat> and then this one just what is scary stuff why am I so into paranormal three students van is three students dead one vanished without a trace two decades have passed since an inferno claimed the lives of three teenagers and caused Carly Johnson to disappear the main suspect Kaylee the girl from nowhere Kaylee's diary discovered in the ruins of Ember Bridge High reveals the thoughts of a disturbed mind, but many claim Kaylee doesn't exist, and in a way she doesn't, because she's the alter ego of Carly. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> and then the last one, since I this one sounded so awesome, I grabbed her other book, because why not? 
So it's in the trees, crept in. Um, they arrive when Scylla and Nori arrive at their aunt's house. It's immediately clear that the manor is cursed. That's, that's basically all I needed to read for me to be like, yes, cursed, let's go. Okay. And then the last thing I got, which I kept to the side, was um, I got a few things from um, Lit Joy Crate because um, the last... Um, the last box that they had, so I get it, but I only get the book, I don't get the items. So one of the items in the last one, which I'll try and make sure I put up before this video, so this is not like a spoiler for that, is, um, was this. <laughs> I'm travel sized for your convenience, and it's adorable. And I was like, oh my goodness, why did I not get the box? Why did I only get the book? So I wanted this. So I was like, oh, oh, I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it. So I ordered this from them. And then I was like, okay, well, what other random like things that they do they have from like past books that I would be interested in getting? So I ended up getting the um, bookmarks from Aladdin just because they are stinking adorable. And they were in one of the pre previous boxes. So I got that. I ended up getting, I like the wooden bookmarks. So I got this one. Um, don't adventures ever have an ending? I suppose not. Someone else always has to carry on the story. J.R.R. Tolkien. So, it looks so cute. And I really like wooden bookmarks, so I snagged that one. And then the last thing I got was one of the books that I didn't get because it was, it was in the book. They had some of the leftover books, and it was one that I hadn't gotten from the book because I hadn't been subscribed to the box yet. So I ended up getting Burning Brightly. Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn. Um, since this one is like basically a reimagining of Jane Eyre and in space, I think. So it sounds really interesting. Um, I know that I believe this was the very first Tell It Again book club book before I had started reading them because I, I started reading them the second month they did it and then I haven't missed a book since so I missed the first book and I'm pretty sure unless I'm mistaking that this was the first book so I wanted to get it so that I could at least read it and even if I didn't read it during the book tell it again book book bleh, words tell it again book club I can say after I read that one that I have literally read every book from the tell it again book club I'm gonna say that for the whole year because I'm gonna make sure I read them all for the whole year so yay so that is my September, not really in September because none of these books I got in September, but I'm going to call it September, book haul, part one, because we're not doing that again. We're going to make sure we have a part one and a part two, and then all the rest of the books that I actually get for September, unless I get so many that I have to do a two and a three. Oh, please don't do that, Lindsay. You need to slow down. So here's all the books. Yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul and like a couple goodies. I will see you guys later for the next video. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye!